Listing on eBay is not only about displaying your products in front of millions of shoppers. It is also a strategic platform that you can use to market your company's brand in front of millions of potential followers. In this tutorial, we'll demonstrate how to customize and brand your eBay listings. We'll also show how to cut out some of the tedious parts of listing on eBay so that you can list in the most efficient manner possible. All of this can be accomplished with the eBay description template. The eBay properties page is the source of all product information that is uploaded and displayed on eBay. By applying an eBay description template on the eBay properties page of a given product, information, including customized descriptions and images, will be uploaded with the eBay listing. Let's look at an eBay description template. Open the eBay settings and click on description template. Here you can edit or create a new description template. We'll click create new template. At the top, we have a field to enter the template name. Underneath, we can select a single product template or a kit product template. We'll discuss kit templates later. On the template, you can enter two types of data, static or dynamic. Static data refers to template content that does not change from product to product. An example would be a company logo or contact information. Static content can be entered as text and formatted with the tools on the toolbars. It can also be entered as HTML or imported from an HTML program like Dreamweaver, so you'll be able to take full control of the editor and include your distinct branding in the product description. Dynamic content, such as information unique to each product, is achieved by means of placeholders. Placeholders in the template are replaced with product information as the listing is published. For example, in order to include the eBay listing title in the description, click on the listing title placeholder. Now the template will grab the eBay listing title of the product to which the template has been applied and include it in the description. If you insert the long description, the placeholder will grab the long description that is on the product detail page. The content will be displayed in the way they are placed on the template. There are more placeholders on the side, but the complete list is on the toolbar under the Insert Code Snippet dropdown. For a list of placeholders and their definitions, go to SellerCloud's documentation site at wiki.sellercloud.com and search eBay Description Template. You can also manually enter placeholders into the template. Just remember to place the pound and question mark symbols before and after the text of the placeholder. Here is a sample eBay description template and how the listing appears on eBay. To apply the template to a product, open the eBay properties page of the product and select a description template. Let's go back and look at an eBay description template for kits. The kit template is comprised of several template editors. The top editor is the main template. In this template, you'll enter information relating to the whole kit, like the name, description, and images. The bottom editor is for the components of the kit. Placeholders can be placed into this editor, which will grab the product information from each individual component and display it on eBay. The information will repeat for each component. The bottom editor must be referenced on the main template by using the placeholder bundled items or bundled items detail not main item. Custom tags are a great way to apply master static information. For example, if you have numerous templates and want to apply a logo across all templates, you can create a custom tag as a placeholder that references a logo. Here's how to create a custom tag. On the eBay properties, select custom tag. Now enter a name for the tag and create the logo in the HTML editor. When entering the tag into the template, remember to place the placeholder symbols before and after the text of the tag. To set a template as the default eBay description template, open the eBay settings and click on eBay attribute defaults. You can select a separate default template for individual items and for kits. To apply a description template to multiple items, you can use either the bulk edit or bulk update features. To bulk edit, open the manage inventory page and select the products you would like to edit. Now click Bulk Edit on the Action menu. On the following screen, select a description template and click Update. To use the Bulk Update feature, click on Bulk Update Products on the Inventory page. Now click Get New Template and select the column header Description Template ID from the column header dropdown. Save the template and import it. 
For more information on how to use bulk update products, please watch the bulk update products video. After editing an existing template on a product that is already listed on eBay, you need to revise the description on eBay. Open the Advanced Search tab and select eBay in the Mode field. You can further filter your search by selecting Posted and Active on the eBay dropdown. Click Search and select the revised products. Now open the Action menu and click Revise Description on eBay. Click Go and the description will be revised on eBay.